Any, uh, any advice for anyone that uh, is interested in getting into the game? Uh, you know, some of the smaller tournaments, um, you know, this is competitive. It's very friendly, but, um, you know, it's pretty competitive. But some of the smaller tournaments out there around the country, uh, that's a good way to do it. I mean, people love to see new players come out because they may have a chance of beating them, you know. But uh, no, really, there are a lot of a lot of good people playing diplomacy, and um, a lot of people really love the game and would really go out of their way to get other people to play. And it's a unique situation. I mean, anyone can play. A game like Monopoly that you can buy on a you know any store shelf and you know slug your way through rolling dice and stuff. I mean, you know it takes a little bit of character to be a pathological liar and, and backstab total strangers while you're telling them that you like them. You know, just play the game. Don't take it personal because if you take it personal, it'll just tear you apart. Yeah. I'm Andrew, and this is my brother, Ryan. Good day. So where are you guys from? Vancouver. The Great White North. The Great White North. <laughs> so you guys go to tournaments together? Huh? You guys go to tournaments together? Tournaments? We've been to a couple together. Yeah. yeah. Dragonflight, right? Did you play Dragonflight? My brother's a hoser, right? <laughs> And we, uh, we we played at the WAC a couple years ago, Washington Athletic Club. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. It's We're in. Good. We're all in. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we, we, we've been playing the phone a few years now. Did you guys start playing together? No. Oh, no. I've no. played by myself for years. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man, you're out of it. <laughs> Get in here. No, uh, I, I I played before I met him. Us be it brothers I've been playing and all. for uh, since the late '70s. So what is that? Like uh, over 25 years. Myself. 25 it's, years. It's maybe because I've ranked diplomacy on a uh, web uh, site called Board Game Geek, and um, I've given it a 10, which is the highest rating you can you can get. And yet it's not my favorite game, not by a long shot. Um, I, I like a few other games more. Uh, there are even some games I like more that I give a lower rating to. I just enjoy playing them more. Diplomacy. It is an extremely elegant game, and uh, I consider it uh, to be the game. Like we call it the game, I, I believe that's true. Uh, it's a beautiful game. It's got no real luck element except for out guessing your opponent, maybe. Um, and, and in that respect, it's but even out guessing your opponent takes. It's like poker is just as luck. Well, I don't know. They call poker a skill game, and a lot of that is without guessing your opponent. It's true. Uh, so it's a great reading. Game. If reading people is part of the skill. Doing that well will make you good. Unfortunately, it brings out the sociopath in most people, and uh, that's kind of an unfortunate side effect. But if you can, uh, <laughs> if you can just you know keep that where it belongs, uh, then it shouldn't have any Which adverse effects. Which is in the bedroom, on. naturally. Yeah, sociopath. <laughs> now, you're, you're thinking psychopathic when it comes to that. Well, better that kept at the table as well. Now you got me thinking. <laughs> That's always a dangerous, very dangerous. Yeah, I actually went on a bit of a rant the uh, the other day. Uh, in a, I play a postal game out of uh, Colorado. Uh, have you ever played that? I know. I'm trying to get you into that. What? No, Once I a month. Play. You only play one turn a month, so a game drags on for a year or more. Often, quite uh, like a year and a half or two years even. And. Um, and I went on a bit of a rant in one of their uh, newsletter issues about how a lot of people are turned off by the game because they come in, they play a game, and there's a lot of hateful things happening. Like people lying and even cheating and uh, being disloyal, all those things. Really, you know, in, in a general society, that's what the world is a cool not place. societies of, you know, types of uh, qualities that we like to see come out of people. Uh, you know, you can put them to good use. So diplomacy, diplomacy mirrors life. Well, I hope not. <laughs> well, you're being naive. Scary, perhaps. Cool. People lie, people cheat, people steal. So, so what made you uh, rank Diplomacy as a 10 if it's not your favorite? What's, what are your favorite games if you rank? And My favorite rank game is Air Assault on Crete, a historical simulation of the um, 
uh, the airborne uh, assault the Germans did uh, on the island of Crete in 1942 in World War II. And uh, that's just, I just have a lot of fun playing. Is this an game. Avalon Hill game? That's or? correct, yeah. Yep. Uh, it only rates a nine, but it's my favorite game of all time. Uh, it's not a perfect game. Uh, you know, some of the things in the game could be better. Uh, it's perhaps a little lopsided in victory conditions. But uh, diplomacy rates a ten because it is almost perfect. It's really amazing how every every side has a, a really good chance, and it's really got nothing to do with uh, your position on the board. It's just it's all up to you as a person on how you uh, how you do in the game. Is that really true, negotiate. though? Isn't it possible that you can get stuck in situations where there, you're going to be against a group of people who are predisposed to not allow you to do well in the game? That is perfectly possible. Well, you mean, why would they be predisposed? To well, I don't know why. That comes from you, outside. Well, the that's the itself. problem. That, that's not playing the game. If you're bringing outside stuff into the game, then baggage, yeah, emotional baggage. Absolutely, you're um, you're tainting it. But we're human beings, so it happens naturally. I guess so. so. It's kind of an imperfect game. Yeah, maybe you can see it that way. But it's like, humanity that makes it.